Basil, Basil, how are we doing? Very well, man. How's yourself? We've got the Christmas edition. Uh, this uh, look, that I've got my Christmas jumper on me. <laughs> yeah, so we've got the uh, we've got the Looking Christmas recommendation today. Yeah, very festive. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't gone so, all out with the jumper and everything, but I think the hat is good enough. That's good <laughs> enough, man. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, that's good. Spot on. Um, so we decided to go for a, a Christmas friendly sort of film this week. Um, yeah, yeah, it's more family we, friendly, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Is uh, I think, and I think it's a good recommendation. It's called Wonderstruck, which is and is on uh, Prime Prime Video yeah. on Amazon service. Um, and it's literally just just to put it in a, a quick uh, premise is um, it, it tells that it's about it's two children from two different times. So. A girl in 1927, which is Rose, and the boy, I think it's Ben, it's ben uh, yeah. which is 50 years later in, in 1977. They're both in the States, and they are basically going on an adventure um, separately. So there's two stories in the film. Um, he Ben is trying to find his dad, and Rose, I think, is trying to find... Um, the star, like the like a actor that she's after, um, which is played by Julianne Moore. Uh, so the girl goes to New York, and he goes to New York, and the stories intersect at one point uh, in a very nice way. Mm. Um, and that's about it. It's directed by Todd Haynes. Um, it it looks very well as the way it's directed. So it's a very good, pleasant. It's rated PG, which is parental parental guidance, which means that everybody can can see it with an adult. Uh, what, what, what's your thoughts? What, what did you thought of it, Buzz? Uh, yeah, well, um, initially, you know, again, went into this one not really knowing anything. And uh, as it started, uh, there was quite a little bit of dialogue. And the reason I'm mentioning that, like every film was a bit of dialogue, is um, the middle section of the film, and we discussed this before we started recording, the middle mm -hmm. section of the film, mm -hmm. it, it becomes this kind of like wonderful musical set piece, really. Um, it's yeah. quite strange. It's like... Um, it's like there's no sound effects of what the characters are going through or the sound of cars at some point or the sound of voices. It's literally just music and the mm -hmm. scenery. And I don't think this is giving anything away, but the, the gear is, is, is deaf in the film. Rose is deaf they're in, both, in, in 1927. Yeah. They're, both, they're, both, they're both deaf. Yeah, deaf. obviously the only Ben, ben becomes the two deaf. Yeah, yeah, Ben becomes deaf, yeah, doesn't so, he? Through, through, through so an this, this, uh, this, Exactly, bang on. This journey that they go on to, um, they're both going on this journey... Yeah. As uh, you know, child one is that they're yeah. both deaf, but so both they're always deaf, struggling both with deaf, that. Both children and and they're both going to New York, uh, which is quite dangerous if you're on your own anyway. Never mind if you're a child, but you know it's yeah, exactly. like so anyway. Yeah, yeah, and and, yeah. and it, like you say, it beautifully it's it's parallel, very beautifully uh, shot. And and at one point in in the movie, um, uh, they go into a museum, and it really does just interlink very nicely. It's literally it's not just like they're in the same place, but they're, they're almost doing the same thing, but fifty years exactly. apart, aren't they? And it works really well. And um, mm -hmm. at first, I thought it might might be a bit crass because in the in the story uh, in Rosie's story it's, it's black and white uh, but I actually kind of really like that to be honest really I thought that yeah, would be yeah, a bit yeah, naff but good. it actually it works doesn't it um, and, uh, it's all, and it's all uh, it's 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 wonderful it's wonderful actually because it's um, the whole first of all like you said it's very easy to understand what's going on because uh, basically I don't know let's say 70% of the film is just without dialogue mm. it's just because it's following these children in their journeys and it puts you in their shoes because sometimes the sound goes, so you just hear things just like you, you're looking at the screen and you're thinking, where's the sound? Is that supposed to be sound? But you're actually, the, the director puts you in the child's shoes to see yeah. how it feels when you're in this big city and there's so, much, so many things happening around you and you can't hear, you can't, you can't use your, your hearing to help guide yourself throughout the world. Mm. Uh, so that, it, it does that from that perspective very well. Just to mention, the children are maybe... Seven and ten, I would say. Something yeah. like the boys. Yeah, she's maybe the, Rose is a little old. bit older, isn't she? But yeah, yeah. Rose the, the, is a little bit I think, older. I think so the boy's the about ten and she's about thirteen, mm -hmm. I would say. And it's and it's bit the actors, I don't know how well that at those ages, those kids are brilliant to be honest. Like I was spot on acting. Very both believable. Of them are really impressive. Very them, very professional, yeah. yeah. Very good, yeah. And and like you said, it's that, that big chunk in the middle. You don't need any, any subtitles. That's why I think it's a family-friendly film also, because it's easy to understand mm. and mm. to get in their shoes and get behind it. Um, but yeah, no, really good. Wonders, Wonderstruck is called. And even the title, because they're literally, you know, one of them is struck by thunder. Yeah, <laughs> and that produces yeah, this, yeah. This, this wonderful journey that he goes through to New York uh, and, and, uh, and to find his... 
his dad. Yeah, and it, it's, been, a, it's a very it's, emotional film as well. I mean, you know, like I say, it doesn't yeah. matter whether you're 10 or you're 50. Like, this film will, mm-hmm. will, will get your heartstrings going. Exactly. And, exactly. Um, yeah, and, it's, so, and any children that watch it will definitely have something to learn from it, to be honest. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, going through our list of questions, would you watch it again? Um, I think I'd watch it again. Um, just, again, my, my kind of little sneaky rule with this one is I think I'd watch it again with someone who hasn't watched it. Um, mm-hmm. because I don't I don't think it's like other films where you can probably take more or appreciate more from a rewatch, but I would like to yeah, see yeah. someone else's reaction watching this and also appreciate that film. If that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I, I, me too me too. I think mm. I mean I think it's a it's a good um, holiday film because it's emotional. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have a sad ending or anything. It's it's really good. Uh, you know, you can learn from it and there's a lot of things that you you know keeps you gripped, especially that point of view type of filming when it's from their shoes what's going on around them and things mm-hmm. like that so yeah definitely definitely be watchable um and our uh, main question which is spoiler heavy question so for those that want to see it which we highly recommend pause the clip and come back because we're going to ask the question uh which is spoiler heavy which scene do you think basil summed up the film best or which is your favorite scene from the film um, I think I think it's more favourite scene rather than summed up the film. I think my favourite yeah, yeah. scene was when uh, towards the end it's coming to a bit of a conclusion. Uh, Ben's coming towards the end of his adventure and uh, mm-hmm. he actually finds Rose um, in in his story. Got it, um, yeah. And uh, they they meet. That's when the that that's when the two story interlink at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you find out obviously that Rose is is actually Ben's grandmother. Uh, that's the spoiler. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, anyway, that's why they, we put they, the, uh, yeah, there's this, there's this uh, lovely scene where they meet at uh, a museum and and they're overlooking uh, this big uh, scale. Um, um, I remember uh, model uh, project of, of New, York. New York, wasn't it? Of New York. And, and yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, that scene is like them two kind of explaining their, both of their stories and an explanation to where Ben's dad is. Um, and obviously, that results in him finding out that he actually passed away through an illness. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I just yeah. think it's really well shot that film, and I think that's the tear jerker, definitely. That's that's where you know it all, it all sure. comes together quite beautifully. And even yeah. though it's a yeah. sad kind of uh, situation, you end up coming away with a positive feeling, you know. And, positive uh, feeling, yeah, I yeah. Think yeah. That's it, just is, good it is a happy ending for yeah. for a child that doesn't have any any parents to end up with uh, his grandmother that is also deaf. Yeah. So that that, yeah. that to me, yeah. I think, is the best outcome that can come mm. out of his situation, to be honest. Yeah. But the scene that I liked the most, I told you, when he goes and he meets his grandmother in the uh, bookstore. Oh, yeah. And, her, yeah. and uh, that's that's the one I liked most because it's a bit of a good trickery from the director's point of view. Because up to that point, you know, he can't hear anybody around him. And you, he's the one who's confused. Has, yeah. yeah, so he's done. And you, as, at the, as the audience, like myself, I, as the audience... I look at him and I can hear everybody talking, telling him things and he can't understand. Mm. But in that moment that I liked the most in the bookstore, when he meets his grandmother that is also deaf and they talk in sign language between themselves, there's no subtitles. And that makes you feel like you're deaf because you look at the other people and you're thinking, they're talking in sign language, but I can't understand it because I don't know sign language. And it makes you feel like you're, you're... Exactly. It makes you feel, put you in the boy's shoes to say, this is how it feels like. This is how tense it is when you can see somebody trying to communicate to you and not be able to communicate back that that's i thought was like this is brilliant yeah so yeah wonderstruck um that's the recommendation this week is on prime video um this is the christmas edition so for everybody out there watching you know merry christmas enjoy your time with your family stay safe as much as you can um basil and see you you next year probably and and have a fantastic new year as well man have a fantastic new year sir yeah Mm. i'll uh, i'll talk to you later yeah yeah take care man see you later have a good one see you later